Hi, right, I'm Chris, and I make knives. Uh, today is just a day of drudgery. We're going to take out the step overs. It's going to really suck. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how we do it. So in a previous video, I showed you how I milled my bevels uh, using the Haas Vertical Machining Center. And this is a symmetrical blade. We have a lot more processes to do to it. So what we're going to do is work on the step overs. We're basically going to sand these out, uh, try to get it more smooth. And then we're going to uh, surface grind this piece down to its final thickness. <clears throat> That'll be a great topic to get into mathematics. And uh, also, I'm going to engrave my name on this, write the USA, because I love this country. It's made in the United States of America. I'm an American, by the way, if you didn't know, an American knife maker. And... Um, and then I'm going to write the blade steel in there. And you know, anytime you're in your shop, anytime you're in your shop, until you engrave it, write on it with the Sharpie what the steel is so that you will know what the recipe is to heat treat it. Um, if you're like me, you get a whole bunch of steel through the shop. Stainless steels, they don't all heat treat the same. They all heat treat different. So do yourself a favor. And when it's in your shop, write down what the steel type is <clears throat> so you don't forget. And when you go to heat treat it, you don't screw it up. <laughs> That's your tip for the day. Use a Sharpie. That's a good idea. So what the machine just did, it cut off this excess piece of material. This is the remains of the pocket where the 375 had room to come in to do the bevels. And this is a piece of stainless tool steel. And it's good for a lot of things. Um, I've thought a lot about putting this in the back of my knife and turning it into a glass breaker. It is stainless tool steel, and you can get a very high Rockwell hardness on this, like 62C. It would make a fantastic glass breaker, but I haven't done that yet. Welcome back to the workbench. Um, so what we have done here is I've cut this excess metal free. And what we have here is my blade, and what we're getting ready to do now is to remove the step overs. And to, to sand out these step overs, I'm going to use a flex shaft tool. I'm going to use a flex shaft tool known as the Fordham. Here you can see mine is the Model TX. It is a third horsepower motor. Its maximum RPM is 1500. And they come with different size flex shafts. Some have a 60 inch cord. I think mine is a 48 H30 handpiece. You can see it's like a little drill chuck. It comes with its own key. And as you turn this, it opens and closes. What I'm going to use is called Kratex. Let you guys see this. So this is Kratex wheels. These are tiny wheels. It's in silicon carbide impregnated inside of a rubber wheel. They are basically one inch in diameter and an eighth of an inch thick. Fit on this tiny little mandrel. And here's a shop tip for you. Don't lose this screw. If you lose this screw, you'll lose time trying to find it. Just keep your forearms on your workbench so if you drop anything, it doesn't fall on the floor and you have to look for it. I got these Kratex wheels from a company called Rio Grande. And it's a jewelry making company and I really like their stuff. You can see here, here's some Fordham. It's got all kinds of um, tools and supplies, primarily for jewelry making but it's also extremely handy for the knife maker. And you should check them out. And here's the website, riogrande.com. <clears throat> you definitely want to wear a respirator using these Kratex wheels. P100 stops 100% of all the particulates. I'm also going to be using this. This is called Burr Life, but this helps keep the metal cool. But it's not so important to keep it very cool because we haven't heat treated the steel yet. So let me put on my PPE, and we'll get to taking these stepovers out. Okay, here we go. What I've done is I've gone from the coarse grit up to the medium, and I'm working my way through all four grits of the Kratex, constantly sanding out the stepovers. 
This process is going to take me a few hours. Probably honestly all day. I'm going to give these blades a quick tumble. We've just finished sanding them out. And the next step is I'll meet you at the surface grinder where we'll take the blades down to the final thickness. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.